actually I was dealing with a lot of giddiness and uh, balance issues. But how it started? And it started in like 2019 and uh, I was traveling like initially I had a little bit of jerk in my neck like there was a sudden break but that time it didn't happen nothing nothing jerk happened. how I think sudden break Ach, sudden. sudden break huh? so I was some in kind of first, we can say first we plush ha huh, first I was in first seat only uh, like besides driver seat so but nothing has observed that time but after 3 days when I was coming back from my hometown and uh, I came to Pune and that time I next day I think 2 days after next day I started feeling feverish and dizziness so I thought maybe because I am tired and I have spent a lot of time so that's the reason it might be there but it started and I started taking physiotherapy because no, no, nobody is educated enough to try for this needling and all first so I started with physiotherapies lot of physiotherapies uh, then I went with this uh, occipital nerve injections and then I went with this uh, lot of needling techniques uh, Did you have pain? Yeah, I had a pain. I had a pain at occipital left area and whenever I, I cannot just like do this because I, it's, it's always like giddiness, all the time it's giddiness and during during uh, like whenever I'm just uh, lying down on the bed, that, that, that time it's better and I did a lot of struggle during that time I am not able to concentrate, I started developing uh, hypertension because I was keep on thinking and then like during the course of time I started reading about these things that what is this and then I went to the best surgical best surgeons all over the India I think I went to Delhi I went to Hyderabad I went to Bangalore all best hospitals you name the hospitals and I can tell you I went to the best surgeons but everybody said it is nothing like you are like uh, mentally disturbed actually so it is like nothing you are in depression so you should go and meet a psychiatrist actually so I said like <laughs> being a young guy I don't feel like I'm alive because I can feel the symptoms then I started reading about these things. Is it there is something which is there? And then I got to know about something called as Atlanto Exceed Instability. But the problem is that <clears throat> in India, you don't have a dynamic x rays and a dynamic MRIs. Okay? And wherever MRIs I was doing, I was doing MRIs every three months, every six months. And according to them, it's all normal. Like slightly bulge are for everybody. <clears throat> and then I did uh, uh, no, flexion extension MRIs, x rays, nothing came up. I went to best surgeons, no, nothing came out. They said, you are all good, you should go and enjoy your life. Then I read somewhere that it is like, uh, you should do uh, lateral x-rays and there you can see that C1 might be overshooting the C2. So then I read somewhere, I went to one doctor in Pune, he, he, he said, okay, you should do this x-ray. But he didn't tell me how to do that, so I studied and went, I, I did that x-ray. Then I got the report and I see that C1 is overhanging over C2. From there I got to know, okay, there is something called as prolotherapy because when I went to surgeon, they say it is a rotational instability and uh, rotational instability can be cured by doing surgery. So I, I know the consequences of surgery, that too on the C1, C2 level. So I started like finding people who can go inside C0, C1 and C1, C2 and that's why I found uh, Dr. Shantanu in Mumbai. I called him, he said yes, he does that. I think it's been around six six sessions and I think I can say now presently that my life has improved, I am doing exercises. Uh, I will not say that you should totally depend on the injection, I am saying that it, it, it gives you a lot of effect but yes, 50% uh, is your motivation, dedication because the work which she is doing and you are doing, you need to be a bit more mentally stable and you need to work on exercise. That is what you have given injections PRP inside your joint, yes, as well as the surrounding ligaments. Yes, PRP inside joints, ligaments, even because the pa we call it as a cervical instability, so it cannot be like you can just go inside the joint, it's not like a uh, just like an injection or a medicine that you go inside and you're done. You have to give it near ligament, and that's what Dr. Shantanu is also suggested. And we discuss about it, and he has also given me at like roll the PRP is at the top level and the prolotherapy is dextrose solution at the down ligament, ligaments and the joint muscles. Because Nicely, so much PRP was still. not available for yes, yes, I had to use. you cannot get PRP sort of PRP because it comes from a blood. So you are feeling much better now? I am feeling better. I do exercises. I have a little bit of giddiness but I think with time, with exercise and maybe with little... But compared to six months back, it is... Yeah, I cannot, I cannot like, I have to like always wear the braces around my neck. Uh, I am not travelling without braces. I think when he was suffering, he wasn't able to think about his life beyond his health. 
because I remember like I think six months back he got an offer to move to London uh, from his office and uh, it was quite a good opportunity but he could not go just because he wasn't feeling so well and now he can at least think of moving to Canada or maybe US that's the level of confidence that he has got in and now he's waking up early going for the exercises and at least helping me out so earlier he wasn't like that so yes there's a lot of improvement at least he can dream now <laughs>